Hello guys, I'm just making this short quick video to let you guys know how I've been merging my Gear Wars 2 videos that I've been recording. I've been recording it using the uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play feature. So, yeah, as you guys probably know, when you record with Shadow Play, it's, it splits it into these 4 gigabyte files. So like the total, you know, thing is like, you know, an hour video, 22 megabytes. But there's all these separate little files and stuff. So what I do is using the program FFmpeg, I pretty much have a thing where it merges them all together and then encodes them. So here is actually my batch file that I'm using to encode this set of them. But pretty much I have them labeled so that way I could open up the command prompt. I can see what's going on. So pretty much I have it set to turn the echo off so you don't see what I'm doing. I have the title set where it says, the, you know, it sets the title of the command prompt to saying converting to MPEG Telesync. Yes. And pretty much, you know, it says, okay, using the FFF MPEG program, the input file is this to copy the, uh, video format which is h264 and to convert it to the or copy it to the format mpeg ts what's cool about this mpeg ts is the reason you can't just convert the mp4 straight together is the mp4 file i know actually has like header information or whatever where the file says okay here's the start of the file here's the end of the file but when you convert it to the MPEG TS, it pretty much doesn't have any sort of things that say here's the start or end of the video, which makes it really well that you can merge it together. So, because if you try merging just the MPEGs together, you get or MP4s together, you get done, and the thing's just like, okay, here's a 50 gigabyte file that is 10 minutes long. The thing's like confused because it doesn't know what to do when you try to play it. So. Mostly, getting a little bit longer than I intended, but yeah, how much it says does does that converts the and makes it MPEG Telesync, and I just have it set just call it I don't know intermittent one, and then it how much says as you can see here it just loads you know it says just choose all those different input files, and I just have it do intermediate one through however many you need, and then after that. I have it do switch it now so it updates the title of the command prompt to say merging the videos and then the FFmpeg input and then using the com cat that's what merges them together you say what files you want to all merge you separate them with these uh this vertical bracket thingy then if you do all that you tell it copy and copy and make sure the audio make sure it copies the audio and then I call it merge.mpeg or mp4. So it's going to give me this big thing here as one big 22 gigabyte one hour video file. So then I have it set up where now it changes the title to say delete those intermittent videos. It deletes them. Changes the title again to now say encode the video. It takes ffmpeg, imports that merge video, tells it I have this in there just to remove any subtitles because I copied it over from some other FFmpeg encoding that I was using. The uh, X264 encoding preset, I'm using the slower preset. I have it set to use the bitrate at 8 megabits per second. And then to move the uh, flags for the fast start for faster uploading to YouTube. And then I have it set to save what the file is. Mostly for this I really just copied that and pasted it right there and then i just put the word encoded at the end make the mp4 i forget to doing that it deletes that merged video after it's all done with that then i tell it to just delete all the guild wars files that were in the skill wars folder so i get done all these files are gone and then right here is the video that i need so just to show you how that works let me just save that and we go ahead and launch the command prompt. You can see there it's creating that intermittent number one. You can see it's copying it because I used the uh, shadow play. I have been encoding it. It's saving it at 50 megabits per second. So you can see here it's just 
converting that first video to that TS file, which I think that video is 10 minutes long. So this command prompt should, once it hits 10 minutes, switch over and start doing the next one. So it's probably because I'm recording this that it's taking a little bit longer, but I usually just start that and go to bed and then I wake up in the morning and it's all done. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, take care.